Football.com neighborhood preview show up from the north side tonight. And we start off our show tonight, Dan, with the Kings Knights, who uh, are perennially one of the top teams in the area. Uh, they start off our Fox 19 tailgate tour this year against Lebanon, and it'll be a great night. It's a great rivalry night, and you know, a tough year last year for the Knights, but uh, they came back strong, uh, uh, and they always will bounce back. And it's just what Andy, Andy holds his teams do. They're, they're very good at that. Yeah, you look at the FABC Cardinal, it's either been Turpin or Kings winning for each year of the past decade. Coach Olds, obviously we've had some talks with him this offseason, Greg. You know, last year he had the health problems, sort of got the season off on a bad foot for him. Luckily, he's bounced back from that. And also, you know, a lot of the young players that took those lumps last year, a year of experience. Uh, we have number five starting out the season in our rankings, and I'm sure it's a team that could rise in the Division II, Division III rankings there. Let's uh, let's get started tonight up here on stage with us, a, a cast of characters. We have offense, uh, uh, the offense coordinator, Coach Little. Coach Seymour runs the defense, along with Max DeMumbrum, the defensive end, uh, Jensen Gephardt, one of the quarterbacks of the team. Justin Kroll, of course, uh, playing wide receiver and defensive back, and Sean Knoll, the linebacker. Sean and, Moran. Oh, I'm sorry, Sean Moran, the linebacker. Uh, and, we'll, and Greg, you know, when you look at what they face this year, the schedule, they start off versus Lebanon on our Fox 19 Friday prep rally, but, you know, out, they have a lot of tough non-conference games. They're going to be challenged right out of the gate. You know, I was talking to Coach Olds the other day, and he was like, you know, it's, it's when you win games, it's hard to schedule. And, you know, you're a Division II school, and your first five games on the schedule, they're against D1 teams, and, and, and it's just going to be a fair of a, a road for them to haul to make one of the eight playoff spots in Division II. But... Coach Seymour to my left, you know, a lot of young kids took their lumps last year, a lot of underclassmen up here with us tonight. What do you see on the defensive side of the ball that gets you to thinking that you're going to rise to be one of those top teams in, in Division II Region 8? Uh, you know, last year we had probably uh, four sophomores and six fre and two freshmen starting as the year went on. And, uh, you know, we took some... It was tough at times, and it's hard for you know guys who are 15, 16 year olds playing varsity football. Uh, but you know, coming back, they got a year experience. All of our guys, you know, you know they're they're comfortable with the system. Um, you know, things. You know, we, we had guys that played eighth grade football that jumped right in varsity football last year. And that's a tough jump for anybody. So you know, we're happy with the way we're progressing. Obviously, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, you know, got you know a few days left to two a days. We got our, our second scrimmage gets them out healthy. But you know, I think. Uh, the guys, we got a good unit. Uh, we got 11 guys that play together uh, that really like each other. Uh, very unselfish. And, you know, if we keep working and keep doing the things we're doing, I think we're going to be all right. Talk about, you know, the players themselves this year. Uh, you know, the depth has been a, always a key. It seems like you guys are a little deeper. What do you think is the, the, since your time with the program, the things you guys have done the most to, like, improve their strength and, and really just the amazing how they've sort of transcended into becoming students of the game? Well, you know, uh, I think it all starts in the off season with our weight room, and uh, you know, the one thing you worry about young guys playing is, is physical strength, being able to compete at the varsity level. And these guys got in the weight room in the off season; they got stronger. Um, and you know, I, I think it's just. You know, we've run the same defense. You know, I've been the coordinator for nine years, and our defense hasn't changed, and our terminology hasn't changed. So from, from the time they're in seventh grade, they've run the same defense. They, you know, so when they get up there, it's, it's not new. And, um, you know, the, the, these, it's a good group of guys. You know, I, it's one of those, you know, everybody talks about talent, but it's, what I think is really important is, is how, how groups get along. And, you know, it's, it's 11 guys playing, you know, playing, trying to accomplish one goal. And I think this year we got a team that, you know, we got guys that are very unselfish. We got guys who are willing to sacrifice for the for the betterment of the team, and when you got eleven guys doing that, I think it'll be pretty successful. To your all the way over, stuck behind the uh, uh, speaker over here, Sean Horan, an all inquire uh, all star last year, all area as a sophomore. Congratulations on those accomplishments, and it's a really deep year this year at linebacker throughout the tri-state. And, and Sean, you know. As you, as you go through that, your sophomore year, you're playing varsity, you're making all these big hits. Uh, now that you're going into your junior year, what are you seeing as the biggest uh, things that, that have become a lot easier for you since last season? Um, well, mostly uh, I'm used to like reading my keys and uh, uh, just like getting, like getting used to like facing like hard competition and uh, just competing really hard. So uh, I think it's I, th I think like Barcy's like they play really fast 
So I think it will slow down a lot more uh, this year with the more uh, runs that I get, the more, uh, more teams I see. What about you know, the rest of your unit? Let's talk about some of those guys. Obviously, you had a pretty good uh, success last year at the linebacker position. What about the rest of the linebacker core for your team? Um, I think Coach Smith Seymour agrees that we have uh, um, some really good linebackers, some good talent. We have good potential to be uh, a good front seven. Um, I think uh, we all help each other out and uh, doing our jobs, and I think. Um, we could be a pretty good linebacker, uh, like for us, right?